This is probably going to look like a 10 year old's design. Yeah. Hey, I'm Meg Mack and I'm here today doing three minute merch. Oh, pretty good. The inspiration is my cat, Billy, who I adopted during COVID. And she has one kind of blue eye and one yellow eye. So that's um, the centerpiece of my design today. I went through a really big Enya phase during uh, COVID. I don't think I've left my Enya phase actually. Enya and James Blake are probably my latest kind of obsessions. I have no idea what would happen to these paints if you um, wash them. My recommendation would be to never wash it. Or once I made my own board game. It was called When Life Gives You Lemons. <laughs> it didn't have much, um, much to it. It was kind of just like a roll the dice and move through and then, I can't even remember, I think you could pick up lemons or, I'm getting so distracted. I was definitely running away from my troubles. COVID had just happened. I couldn't go on tour, I couldn't do anything. I found um, this little cottage in Burrowang. I went and viewed it. And then I think like the next day I signed the lease. I had a whole album recorded and ready to go and then I scrapped it and I started again. But I kept one song and I kept the song called Matter of Time. And it's really strange to listen to that song now because the lyrics, I'm singing about how like I'm about to snap. And then I literally snapped, scrapped a whole album, moved to the country, got cats, like just changed my whole life and rewrote an entire album. So. Now that I have an album that I put myself into 100%, this feeling that I have now is, it was worth all that stress of canning an album and starting again. That actually looks kind of good. <laughs> People are always like, what comes first, the lyrics or the music? I do both at the same time. I'll have like one line that I'm like, I know this, this line is good, and then the others, they're almost like gibberish or don't make sense at first and then you keep kind of singing or working on the song and then slowly like it just morphs into lyrics and the right words kind of end up coming out. When you make an album there's so many different days of like finishing it's like I remember the day I finished the last vocal the day we got the last master done so there's a lot of days where I felt like I'd accomplished something. Do you want to see my masterpiece? Hey, I'm Meg Mac, and thank you for watching my three-minute merch.